dear student welcome to my english class i am mohammad inamul islam assistant teacher english today my class is with the student of class 10 and the paper is first the student i hope and believe you are well and safe at your home uh, today my lesson is about a great person everybody knows him uh, before uh, going to my lesson i have some question for you my first question is who is called shilpacharya do you know my next question is who was the designer of the pages of the constitution of bangladesh the student these two questions answer is same do you know him okay my dear student i think you were in uh, confusion i want to uh, remove your confusion let's uh, see a picture about this great person the student look at the picture this is the man he is the he is one of the greatest men in the painting art world of painting and he is you can see the name jainal abidin yes dear student he is jainal abidin and our today's lesson is jainal abidin dear student our today's lesson is about jainal abidin the great artist the great artist the student uh, today my lesson is about jainal abidin the great artist and the unit is 7 and the lesson number is on okay dear student let's go to our lesson the student of class 10 please open your book english for today and go to the page number 91 the student go to the page number 91 you can see uh, the unit number 7 uh, and the unit's name is people who stand out and the lesson one is about jainal abidin the great artist the student now i am going to read this lesson i think you will uh, listen it carefully the pioneer of bangladeshi modern art jainal abidin is widely acclaimed for his bengal feminist sketches through the series of sketches jainal not only documented the harsh famine of 1943 but also showed its sinister face to the skeleton figures of the people this time to die of starvation in man made light he depicted this extremely shocking picture with human compassion he made his own ink by burning charcoal and used cheap ordinary packing paper for sketching the student he always made his uh, own ink by uh, burning charcoal and used cheap ordinary packing paper it's it's amazing dear student using the ink and applying the brush when necessary he produced the drawings and sketches which later became iconic images of human sufferings jainal developed a knack for drawing and painting when he was a high school student after completing high school he took admission in the government school of art calcutta now kolkata he graduated the first position in first class in 1938 He was appointed the teacher of art school while he was still a student there. He also attended the Slade School of Arts, London, during 1951 to 1952. Jainal Abidin is considered the founding father of Bangladeshi art. The student reminded he is considered the founding father of Bangladeshi art. He was an artist of outstanding talent and earned an international reputation. For his artistic and visionary qualities, he is referred to as Shilpacharya, meaning great teacher of art in Bangladesh. He was the first principal of the first art school in Dhaka in East Pakistan, now Bangladesh. He organized the Nabanno, that means harvest, exhibition in 1969. The exhibition included a 60 feet long scroll portrait 
at the rural East Pakistan in phases from abundance to Bubat. This intensified the already heightened non-cooperation movement against the Pakistani Rizai. The exhibition was symbolic of the Bengali artists' protest and milestone in our struggle for cultural and political freedom. The student a struggle for the culture and the political freedom for our country. Janu's dynamic style of work is evident in a 30 feet long scroll painting called Moonpura, which was done to commemorate the death of hundreds and thousands of people in the devastating cyclone of 1970. The student, let's turn the page and go to the page number 92. Okay. He designed uh, the pages of the Constitution of Bangladesh. Mind it, he was the designer of the pages of Bangladeshi Constitution. He founded the Folk Art Museum at Shonargaon and also Journal Abed in Shonrushala, a gallery of his own works in Mamanchi in 1975. The river Brahmaputra played a vital role in his paintings and was a source of inspiration all through his career. Much of his childhood was spent near the scenic river Brahmaputra. A series of watercolors that Daniel did as his tribute to the river earned him a governor's gold medal in All India Exhibition in 1938. This was the first time that he came into spotlight and this reward gave him the confidence to create his own visual style. John Labedin was born in Kishigan in a 19 December 1914 and died in Dhaka on May 28, 1976. My dear student, I have read the text and I think you have listened it carefully. Uh, so you have come to know about this great person. He was an amazing figure. He is the founding father of Bangladeshi art and uh, he is is the creator of some extraordinary painting in our country and he uphold uh, the art and culture of Bangladesh into the world uh, I cite. The student, now I am going to show you uh, there are some word meanings. You know there are some hard words and tough words for you in this lesson. I am going to uh, mean it. Okay, let's go. Dear student, I uh, look at the board. I have written some uh, hard work, some tough work for you. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the word pioneer. You know, pioneer means inventor or innovator. The next one is acclaim. You know, acclaim means praise highly, praise something or someone highly. Space, picture done quickly and roughly. The next word is sinister. Sinister means suggesting everything, obvious. Visionary, visionary means full of foresight. The student, this is the word predominant. Predominant means most common or important. And the last word is knack. You know, knack means natural ability. So these are the uh, hard words for you. I have written uh, in the board. Uh, write it on your uh, note copy. Dear student. Dear student, once again, uh, open your book. Uh, page number 92 and 93. Uh, here you can see uh, some pictures, seven pictures of John Elabedin. You can see seven pictures of John Elabedin. Uh, uh, these pictures has drawn by John Elabedin. Uh, now I'm going to uh, describe this picture. What has he, uh, what he wants to uh, show you uh, by these pictures? Yes, student. Uh, watch the picture on the board. Okay. And the picture number one, my dear students. You can see in the picture number one, uh, it is a uh, portrait, the famine in 1940. Picture one portrait, the famine in 1940. It is a skeleton figure of man who is about to die of starvation. You can see he is about to die of starvation. It is one of the great sketches of, of artist Jainal Abidin. Okay, dear student, go to the picture number two. In picture number two portrays Shantal women. It is a sketch of the great Daniel Abedin. In the picture, two women are two sisters who are going to walk. The student go to the picture number three. In picture number three portrays the famine of 1940. 
It is a picture about famine of 1940. It is a pathetic scene. You can see a dead body is lying and a dog and a crow are at eating the dead body. It's really pathetic, dear student. Go to the picture number four. In picture number four, there is a watery place where there are some boats. Some people are in the boats and some are up unloading goods from the boats. Dear student, go to the picture number five. Picture number five uh, portrays the picture of a village by the side of a river. You can see some boats there. Uh, uh, we see that the sky is covered with clouds. Dear student, go to the picture number uh, six. In the picture number six, uh, two farmers are seen <laughs> on a leveler that is drawn by two oxen. You can see uh, they are uh, leveling the soil and pulling the oxen by string to keep the balance. It's a famous painting by John Labadin. The student, finally, there's a picture of seven, the number seven. Uh, uh, in picture number seven, a struggle, a struggle is portrayed. It is a picture about a struggle. Two oxen and a man is struggling hard to draw a card. The student, these are the seven pictures. You can see these are the seven uh, famous pictures in your books. You can see. And the student, in picture number seven, uh, I want to show you something special. Look at that. This is a currency of Bangladesh, 50 taka note. And you can see uh, the picture is same with the picture number seven in your book. This picture has drawn by the great artist, Joanil Abidin. It's really special. You can see all of his uh, uh, sketches, all of his painting in, in our country, in the world, whole world. So it's really amazing for our culture, for the art of our culture. The student, look at this picture once again. You can see these are the famous pictures of the great artist, Janil Abedin. It also can be seen in your book, 92 page and 93 page. Uh, thank you, dear student, for watching. Okay, dear student, now I want to evaluate you with some questions. I think you have uh, listened to the text carefully and read the text carefully. And uh, I think you will answer these questions uh, clearly on your note copy. Uh, so write these answers on your note copy. And when the school will reopen, I think and believe you will uh, show your English teacher uh, of the answer of these questions. Uh, look at the board. First of all, uh, the first question is why did Jainal Abedin become so successful in his art related career? Why did Jainal Abedin become so successful in his art related career? And the next question is what do you know about Jainal's education? The student, what do you know about Jainal's student, uh, Jainal's education? Uh, the third question is, how did he make his own ink? How did he make his own ink? And the fourth question is, what is scroll painting? I have uh, read this, what is scroll painting? And uh, the answer, I think you will uh, write this answer on your note copy. And the fourth, final question is, how did Janil Abedin portray the sufferings of people? How did Janil Abedin portray the sufferings of, of people? The student, I think uh, you will uh, write this uh, questions answer on your note copy. And when the school will reopen, uh, you will show to your English teacher of this answer of the questions. The student, finally, I am going to uh, uh, give you a homework about this uh, lesson. And the homework is write a paragraph about joining Abid. The student, uh, you will uh, write a paragraph about Jonel Abidin by reading your text more and more. And I think when the school will reopen, uh, you will show the answer, show the paragraph uh, to your English teacher. Uh, okay, dear student, that's all from now to this class. I'm going to close my class. Before going to cl close my class, I have just a sentence to you, every one of you, and that is stay home. Stay safe. Thank you. Wow.